morning your majesties welcome back to my youtube channel for those of you that are new here welcome to my youtube channel and annabelle wants to say hi and happy day four of princess giving i cannot believe it's already day four of princess giving um so we are going to be continuing on the chronicle of life as i said in my other videos that i think it's appropriate because i'm going to be seeing adam mcintyre on february 25th and his tour is called the chronically online tour so i think i don't know i just think it's appropriate um but anyway so so chapter three of the chronicle of life okay vanessa went home two days later she had been calling Oswald for the past two days, but the phone had been blocked and he did not reply to her text messages. It must be that she didn't celebrate his birthday for him like before, which made Oswald angry. Vanessa pushed the door, pushed open the door and saw the crumbled wedding photo that he had, oh, that had been thrown on the ground. That's messed up. She pushed for a moment and slowly walked over. She picked up the wedding photos with footprints and cleaned up the dust and glass fragments. Then she saw the coffee table with the withered, you know, then she saw the coffee table and the withered flowers. Vanessa crouched down to pick up the withered flowers. As soon as she touched it, the petals on the flower fell to the ground miserably. What? Vanessa looked at the scattered petals and suddenly had a strong promotion. Her marriage to Oswald would soon be completely over. Vanessa held the flowers and sat on the sofa for a long time. Then she went upstairs and quickly printed out a divorce agreement. She signed it, she took it, oh, she signed it, took a picture and sent it to Oswald. I've already prepared the divorce papers. When are you free? Come here and we'll see each other one last time. She sent the message to Oswald, but he still did not reply. Vanessa waited until the next day. She had no choice but to contact the secret, the secret E in charge of Oswald's scheduling to find out when Oswald was free. The second, oh, the secretary. The secretary's name was Morgan Turner and had a good relationship with Vanessa. He replied, Mr. Simon, Mr. Simon brings you, oh, Mr. Simon brings someone to travel aboard. He will come back the day after tomorrow. Who? After a while, Morgan replied, it's Miss Martha. Elena, Vanessa, Elena, Vanessa felt a little sad. Her phone shook again. Morgan sent a message. All oh, right, manager told man, I heard that you resigned. Is that true? It's true, said Vanessa. The handover has been completed. I'll come to the company to get my personal belongings tomorrow. Morgan sighed, thought it was pity. Vanessa was capable, kind, and generous, often treats colleague, colleagues to supper and coffee. People in the company all liked her. She's... The next day, Vanessa went to the company early in the morning, packed her things, and finally, and finally she took out a brown paper bag from her bag. After hesitating for a long time, she handed it over to Morgan. When Oswald comes back, please pass it to him for me. Tell him that it is very important. Morgan said, since it's important, why, why didn't you personally hand it over to him? She smiled bitterly and shook her head. She thought after all, after all she didn't have, many days to live. Before she left, she really wanted to see Oswald again. 
However, Oswald didn't want to see her. Vanessa left the company home and began to pack. She was ready to go aboard to treat her liver cancer, saying that it was treatment was actually just a dying struggle. The doctor said she was already in the advanced stage and the chances of being cured were, were less than 5%. Um, she booked a flight noon at noon the next day. Oswald's flight was also at noon this day. Morgan, crap. Morgan came to pick him up. After the plane landed, Elena said that she was hungry. So Oswald took her to the airport restaurant to eat. Morgan saw Oswald having time now. So he took the um, so he took out the envelope that Vanessa had given him. This is a very important document left behind by manager Tallinn after she left the office, he said. Oswald suddenly raised his head and stared fiercely at Morgan. Leave office? Morgan said, yes, Mr. Simon, you don't know? Even her job was ha handed over and dictating that the application, application was regeneration. Regeneration had been handed in at three weeks ago. Oswald's, Oswald, Oswald tightened his lips. He looked angry. Elena, who was drinking por portage at the side, turned her eyes, raised her pale face, and timidly asked softly, why did she resign? Morgan, Morgan shook his head and said he didn't know. Oswald gritted his teeth. Oh, Oswald gritted his teeth, pulled out the file bag, and opened it. The voice agreement, these words instantly jumped into Oswald's eyes, causing him to freeze. Elena secretly caught, secretly caught a glimpse of the word divorce. Her, her eyes were filled with joy, and she immediately lowered her head to drink portage to disguise herself. The atmosphere at the dining table was so cold that, that no one dared to make a sound. Morgan turned his eyes away and bore them. He happened to see Vanessa who was dragging her suitcase. He was surprised. Mrs. Simon? Oswald suddenly raised his head, his gaze firmly grabbing onto Vanessa's slender figure. Oswald kicked the chair away and rushed out of the restaurant. Wow. Okay. Um, I will read y'all part four tomorrow. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Princess Peyton. Hit the red button to become your majesty and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I love you guys so much. You guys are the best human beings ever made. And you're the king of my heart and the song and lyrics of Taylor Swift. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Annabelle says she will too. Okay, love you guys. Bye. Mwah.